So hello everyone and welcome to Decorating with Barbara. If you are new here for the first time, thank you so much for joining me. And if you love seeing decorating tips and ideas for your home, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe. So in today's video, we are going to see the results of the staging project that I shared in my last video. And if you are interested in seeing that video along with my shopping trip and decorating and staging tips, you can refer to the budget friendly decorating tips video. So before we go into the property, I'm sharing the exterior of the property because staging starts outside with your curb appeal. I also wanted to remind those of you who choose to leave a comment to please be respectful to the homeowner as they are real people with real feelings. And I wanted to thank the homeowners for graciously opening up their home so that I could share with you a staged home. So let's keep the comments positive. And with that being said, Let's go inside after we're done viewing this fabulous backyard. So starting here at the dining room, the dining room has an overall dark feel, so we lightened the walls and we kept the original furniture and the curtains. We added everything in a neutral color palette, adding a little bit of blue in the artwork. So here in the office, we kept the original desk and we lightened the walls and brought in some colored artwork. So the living room was brightened and lightened we removed most of the furniture and the accessories to make the room appear larger and open. We also wanted to direct your attention to the beautiful pond outside. So we angled the couch towards three focal points, the fireplace, the TV cabinet in the corner, and the pond outside. And then we just place some brightly colored decor around the room. And here in the powder room, we just added a simple orchid and a um, art over the tank. Now in the hearth room, we brought in the love seat that was originally in the living room. And I did forget to mention that we covered both the couch and the love seat with a light colored slip cover just to brighten up the space. And then here in the kitchen, we did lighten all the walls and we used the color Repulse Gray by Sherwin Williams, which is the same color throughout the house. They had already lightened the kitchen cabinets, so we just added daylight bulbs to make the room even brighter.
So down in the basement, the entire basement was painted and recarpeted. And I also forgot to mention that the carpet was replaced in the entire house, except for the stair carpet that leads to the second floor. And so all of the furniture was cleared out. And now you just have a nice open space so that the next family can enjoy. So now let's go up to the master. So here in the master, we kept all of the original furniture. We wanted our focus to be on the space itself and we wanted to make it light and bright. So we placed lamps only on the nightstands and then we replaced the linens with a lighter neutral fill and added a pop of blue. So you may say the home is sparsely decorated, but remember staging does not require a lot of furniture. You just want to suggest what the rooms are used for. And the focus is not on the home decor or the furniture. The focus is on the home and what it has to offer. You also want to neutralize the space so that the homeowner can visualize themselves in the home and not the way you lived in the home. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of this stage property for sale and thanks for watching and I hope you guys and I hope to see you guys at the next video. And remember, be kind and positive vibes only.